to the end of uh, 2024 academic year uh, for most of the learners in the country and we want to thank God because of enabling us. So I would uh, ask my uh, colleague parents, let's uh, take care of our, uh, our kids, let's be very careful, very vigilant with these uh, festives. You know Christmas festivals come with a lot of uh, things. Let's be careful and more so let's, let's, let's strive to complement what teachers have been doing uh, for the last uh, one year. Um, we also urge the government uh, to help us uh, in protecting our parents and especially um, this issue of uh, you know, drug and substance abuse. Uh, we ask the government to be, to be very, very careful, very careful and put uh, strict measures so that we don't lose most, most of our learners uh, to the celebrations of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the season festives uh, so that we are going to have a hundred percent, you know, of people of people coming back in January. As parents and the Millbrook community, I think today we are extremely happy and thankful to God for giving us this very memorable occasion to celebrate the graduation of our kids and a prayer day for our Kipsea candidate. I think one message has been very clear from all the speakers that every child needs a stable parent. And I think as a parent and as parents that's a challenge to us, especially as the learners and the leaders come back home for the holidays, we need to provide them with the best environment so that they can grow and be responsible citizens. Let me also thank the school for this very wonderful and well-organized occasion. I think the learners are happy and as parents we are happy and probably this is the best place to be when it comes to learning when you're in them. I would also like to wish all learners and parents a very happy festive season and a Merry Christmas and hope to see you in next year healthy, happy and joyous. May the Lord help us to understand that which of us has uh, which of us has segment from the Lord even to take care of these young ones we are breaking for December holiday God has entrusted us with these very little ones that we shall mold them in their formative years so that they will become what heaven intended for you to become. But if you allow me to ask the parents to do one thing, please parents, okay, I want you to, to do one thing. You know the kingdom of God is us, those who compare their, their, those who become children, eh? Parents, can you tell your neighbor? Come to your neighbor, my dear parents. I'm also becoming a parent, praise the Lord, of six children, one as if you were. Parent, can you tell your, your fellow parent, invest for your child. Invest for your child. Remind him or her of this great uh, English saying. If you think education is expensive, my dear parents, it is one of your own asking you to say it. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. I take parenting as the most important role that I've ever had. Like It's like God just trusted me with two human beings that are going to change the generation. And as we go for this holiday, parents, this is the time that you have your kids the longest, and this is the time that you have to mold them. Remember, most growth spurts will appear at this time, and if you don't take care of their safety first, what they watch, like just be interested in their shows, in everything they touch, and at the same time, create memories. Take that picture, go out there, have fun, teach them a thing or two. Like don't let them learn it from school. Have past papers, just give them something that they are going to embrace and remember you for. Because remember, your children do not have a choice but to love you. I know very well our young leaders are going for uh, a holiday, uh, which is a lengthy, two months. Uh, but we are asking parents, uh, especially our parents at Millbrook International School to be stable during this time and ensure that uh, uh, the behavior bit and activity bit is uh, inculcated in uh, our learners. Uh, we have asked them to voice um, some of our habits uh, so that when the students come back uh, in January we don't start afresh. So some of the habits we've uh, asked them uh, to ensure that uh, uh, they are inculcated in our learners. One is uh, they be proactive. Instead of uh, being reactive uh, to them, they, they need to mold them, they need to mentor them. 
and ensure that they are proactive as, 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 as we've set the pace. We are also voicing um, the issue of uh, ensuring that they prioritize. So while at home, we want our parents to make something like a timetable so that uh, our learners, uh, or our young leaders know the activities uh, that uh, are before them. We also want our parents, as they are taking care of our young leaders, to have the win-win uh, situation uh, as they prepare the young leaders. You need to listen to them, ensure that um, when solving cases at home, there's that win-win uh, approach to issues. Um, I would also want them to, f first of all, seek to understand our young leaders. You know, they are growing, um, and, and the growing nowadays is not uh, like we used to do. Even the parenting is, has changed. So you, first of all, have to seek to understand them. And then now project or, or present your issues. So we are asking them to voice seek first to understand and then be understood.